What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior, Eight Beards, and a Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today we are doing another tutorial on another great Saturday. I know I've been skipping like Saturdays and videos and times where I'm supposed to post recently. It's just because I've been super busy with school and I am sorry, my bad. But don't worry, we are back at the grind again, teaching you another sword related tutorial. Now, you obviously already know what we're doing today. I showed off the trick in the beginning of this video, but if you don't, we're gonna be doing the unsheath, where we take this sword and do a special unsheath with it, where you can catch it behind your back or catch it, you know, however you want. But I wanna show you exactly how to do it. But first, you need a sword and a sheath to do this with. Um, any sword probably might work, but I suggest getting a tripping sword. It's, I get this one, I have a, actually, a video um, where I review this sword and have a link where you can get it. So if you are interested in checking out a sword like this, uh, meant for tricking and meant for doing all that dangerous stuff, so we can be safe. then check the description because I will leave a link to that video where I talk about it in the description and in one of the corners. I can ne I never guess which corner it is in, but it'll be in one of the corners too. So let's get into the trick. The first thing you're going to have to do with your sword is halfway unsheathed. You're gonna have to take part of it out of the sheath. And that's just with this end right here. There is a part of the sword that keeps the sheath from just, you know, falling off. Or keeps the sword from just falling off when you hold it upside down. And that is this thick part of the sword right here. Let me see, show you right here. It's this thick part of the sword. It locks in and provides a tighter seal. So, what we're gonna do is when you're holding your sword, all you're going to do is with that right hand, you're gonna take your thumb, I'm gonna do it back here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You're gonna take your thumb and you're going to reach it around and just push the sheath off, just like that. It's nice and subtle. You don't even have to use two hands. I mean, you can have two hands if you really want to, but all you need is your thumb to push the sheath down just a little bit. So, when you do that, you have it loose on the shield. You could slide it around and if you hold it upside down, the sheath falls just like that. That's what you want. So once you have it loose just a little bit, you want to yank the sword directly to the side. You don't want to pull it towards you. You don't want to yank it directly to the right side and that will allow the sheath to drop straight down. Now this will require some practice because this does require speed in order to work. You can't slowly pull the short sword because it will just take the sheath with it. You have to quickly pull the sword just like that. Now, time for the cool part where you catch it behind your back. This, again, will take some practice to get down. There we go, now that we have a better angle, when you're ready to pull the sword out, you're gonna take a step back with your right foot just like this, so that when you pull the sword, the motion that your body will do is turning around and taking a knee, just like this. Again, one more time. You're gonna set up your sheath. You're gonna take a step back with your right foot. You're gonna turn and knee. Now, when you turn and knee, your left hand drops behind you and allows the sheath to drop into that hand. When you do it full speed, it looks something like this. Now, the faster you pull the sword out, the smoother and cleaner the trick will work. I practice sword a lot, but I practice my bow staff way more often than I practice with my sword. And so, I am by no means the best person at this trick. You can do some amazing things with this trick, but speed is key. You can't do this slow. And because of that, that makes this trick inherently dangerous. Danger zone! Because yeah, it's an aluminum light dull sword, but it's still a sword. If it's going fast enough, it can still cut someone, it can still hurt someone, it can still pierce skin if you swing it fast enough. So be very careful when doing this trick. When you're practicing it, make sure nobody's around you. Make sure, you know, you don't have glass and uh, stuff that's breakable around you. Do it outside, in, the, in your backyard, 
uh, maybe in a open field somewhere where there's nothing around you that you can injure and hurt because guaranteed when you're first trying this that might happen guys please remember to be safe that's all that's all I'm really asking for if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and let me know what you think about it if you want to see more sword tricks like this or more unsheathing tricks because there are tons of unsheathing tricks if you want to see more of them definitely let me know uh, comment below and let me know in discord uh, thank you guys for help me get this far in YouTube and if you want to continue to help me out I would very much appreciate it sharing the video liking the video whatever it is um, notifications all that fun stuff I very much appreciate it but until next time don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff for me because my name's DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out